this light make me look old? <laughs> hey, welcome to Lancaster Hi-Fi. I just brought my Beaver Valley amp up from the basement because I want to do some work on the BV6V6. It gives me a chance, though, to do a little back-to-back -back listening of those two amplifiers. I've done a bit of comparison of them before, but that was before I really worked out the tuning of the cathode bias on the BV6V6. I've got the BV6V6 set up here, and there it is. And you can see the Beaver Valley sitting there on top of my Wharfdale speaker. I don't expect these two amps to really sound particularly different right now at this kind of listening level. You know, what's the main difference between these two? Well, there's two pretty important differences. You know, this one's going to be running at higher voltage with the 5AR4 and um, using these EL84s. So the big difference, though, is in the output transformers. I've got the Dynaco Z565s on the Beaver Valley here, whereas the BV6V6 has these Harman Kardon output transformers, which, you know, are noticeably smaller and don't, therefore, do as well with bass as does the Beaver Valley. And of course the BV6E6 uses this 5U4 rectifier, so it's running at a little bit lower voltage on these 6V6s. The 6V6s can put out about as much power as the EL84s, but they don't have as much gain, so they require a greater input signal out of the input stage than does the Beaver Valley in order to get to a two volt sensitivity on this one it can't have as much negative feedback as this one can i'm always kind of amused that an amp having a lot of negative feedback is somehow viewed as a weakness but it's not at all it's really quite a strength that this one can have enough negative feedback to sound really amazing all the way down to 20 hertz whereas this one i the limited gain of the 6v6s means that i can't use enough negative feedback to get that bass to really line up especially with these smaller output transformers but this is an awesome amp but that one's great. You know, where you're really going to start noticing a difference is once it's really cranked to full power. And I really can't do that on these speakers yet. They need a little work. I haven't actually measured the sensitivity for this. It should be, according to the design, 2 volts. Design full power is 10 watts per channel. I think this one can give me 12 watts, whereas this one max is out at about 10 watts. I measured it, I think 1.9 or 1.91 or maybe 1.95 volt sensitivity for full power. Probably give it some good volume here. Got Susie on the turntable, Susie in the CD player. Let's have a listen. Give this a little bit more volume. While it warms up, I'll make some comments on this thing. I haven't seen it out in the open in a while. It's been up near the ceiling, really, in my office downstairs. So I haven't had a chance to see before now how my finishing of it has fared. That walnut maybe could use another coat of linseed oil. Front plate has held up very nicely. But the chassis is looking really dingy. I just guess I just didn't really do a particularly good job of polishing and clear coating that. It might not even be clear coated, it might just be polished. So I might be able to get away with just uh, going over it with mothers to see how that comes.
Well, I might be able to convince myself that the Beaver Valley had a bit tighter base. I don't know. But... My hair, you know, that impression's got to be subjective. I, I know how they differ on the bench. Editing Stephen here. It's really hard to tell these two apart, but after repeated listening, after some level matching, the differences between these two are essentially what I measured on the bench. That is, there's a bit more punch in the bass with the Beaver Valley, and the BV6V6 has a little bit more sparkle in the high end. They're still just both lovely sounding amps. I'm hard pressed to, to find a difference or say which I even like better. The differences are subtle, but that's about what I can point to. I don't know. Maybe you could tell me if you heard anything different. Anyway, kind of psyched to have the, uh, the Beaver Valley up here to give it a listen into th in this system with the, uh, with the Wharfdales. I haven't played it with the Wharfdales yet, so that'll be fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a subscribe, like, comment, etc., etc. See you next time. Cheers.